Okay, so we are getting ready to go live here. And it looks like, Melissa, we are live. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Happy Wednesday morning. Oh, my gosh. I hope you are enjoying the weather. <laughs> this weather. I know you went out for a run yesterday, Melissa, yep. in the afternoon. It was absolutely gorgeous, almost 70 degrees. Oh, yeah, I wore like, shorts. Did you? Yeah. Did you get sweaty even wearing shorts? Um, Slightly, yeah, <laughs> slightly. We were running early in the morning, and it was like 40 degrees. It's like a dream. The weather oh, wow. is perfect. So, well, thank you for tuning in to Healthy You. I am Kim Martin, a host of your show today, and my expert guest is the <laughs> manager and coach from Curves and Peoria, yes, Melissa Maubach. Welcome, Melissa. Thanks for joining me this Thanks morning. It's me. always great having you. And, uh, you know, the theme this week is investing. The word, the weekly word for winners is invest. And so I thought a great topic for you guys would be invest, you know, the benefits of investing in your health, what you can expect the return on your investment in your health. And, you know, you might be surprised at how much money you actually save for when you invest in your health. We're going to mm -hmm. talk about all of that. So if maybe you're, you know, thinking, how can I afford to do certain things and can't afford to have a membership or I can't afford to take supplements? That's the number one thing we hear yeah. is that people feel like they can't really afford to take supplements. And, you know, maybe we might be able to help you uh, do an inventory on where you spend your money and what you're doing and see that return and uh, be able to see where you can. You really can't not afford to do it because exactly. there's so many health benefits. But one of the things we want to ask you to do is to share this show. Be sure to post comments. Let us know that you are here and you're watching. Ask us some questions. Uh, let us know what you're thinking. And um, uh, we love to hear from you. It's awesome. Yeah. All right. So let's just dive right in. You know, you can invest in your health, and, and I was thinking money, but Melissa, you said you can also invest in time. Exactly, because, you know, it's like I'm the budget girl. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like you. sometimes people just overthink it, plain and simple. They overthink, well, it costs too much to get healthy. It costs too much for supplements. It costs too much for this. It does not. It does not cost hardly anything for a glass of water out of your tap versus a soda, a can of soda, a bottle of soda at the gas station, and water is way, way better for you. You know, ideally, I would love everyone to have a gym membership. The camaraderie there, the strength machines, all that is amazing. But guess what? I went outside and I ran yesterday. You can take your gym outside and it's free. Exactly. Go <laughs> mow the lawn here pretty soon. I mean, People there are lots of ways. You, I think you're right. We do overthink it. But one of the things that I think we got to change the mindset is that we, we, we just jump to, oh, that's too expensive. I can't do that. Yep. Right? And uh, what we don't stop to think is the money that it saves us down the road. This is what the research shows. Uh, and this is based on the statisticians that do... Uh, uh, studies for insurance companies and they're pretty good at their job and pretty mm -hmm. good at determining and they say that when you invest in your health for every dollar you invest in preventative care you save five dollars in long-term care oh yeah that, 100 percent. that is absolutely amazing to me i want you to think about that you won't see the re when you invest in something you don't see the return immediately Right? Not necessarily. You might say, well, a little bit. You could, you, yeah. you in how you, how you feel. feel. Yeah. yeah. But what it is, is invest it. When you invest, you expect to get something back greater than you actually put in. You are. You just can't see the big picture yet. You yeah. are getting something back. Well, that's so, what I'm saying. So much when greater. you invest that. For every dollar you spend on preventative care, you get $5 back down the road. Yeah. In over a year, I have been sick twice. And that was nothing even like I could have prevented. I had strep throat once and I had a stomach bug once. Right. Other than that, that's been my medical bills. And well, that... minus my sprained ankle, but that's <laughs> different. But like being sick, I'm not sick. Right. You You're know, healthy. I take care of myself. I eat well. I, you know, drink my water. I work out. I run. I make time. Yeah. Your health is your wealth. Yeah. 
I mean, that's my favorite line, and it's so true. Your health is your wealth. Without good health, you can't even think about being successful in your goals. Mm -hmm. You can't, if you're not healthy, you really are limited to the things that you can do. And that's what I want you guys to understand. So, you know, I want you to think about different ways that you can take an inventory. Almost everybody I sit down with, um, Melissa, to talk to them about investing in supplements for themselves or a membership. And when they say they can't afford it, if we do an inventory of where they're spending their money, I can almost always not only come up with the money for them to pay for their membership plus the supplements, but then they have extra money left over too. That's true. And then there are those extreme cases where they physically can't. And then that's when you invest time-wise. Right. You know, but the majority of us can invest a little bit so much as, you know, in a pair of running shoes, if that's how we choose to, to do that, or in a, you know, a gym membership and a thing of multivitamins. You know, just something that simple. I mean, I do take more supplements and just multivitamins, but it's just starting there right. is something that you're just taking. You just got to take charge of, of your health. And some people say that comment, your health is your wealth. Someone said that to me one day, well, your health costs wealth. No, it doesn't. No. It doesn't. It can. Oh, my gosh. I could spend bukus and bukus. But, but it you'll get that investment to. back. It's like putting yeah. more in the 401k. I need you to look at it like a 401k in yourself mm -hmm. because you invest, you know, a maximum amount of money in your 401k expecting uh, that wherever you work, they put some money in there for you and the investment company is going to invest that money and you're going to get a return on that. And you're trusting that these people are doing right by your money. Mm -hmm. But when you invest in your health, you have to, there is, I, I personally believe that uh, be, health does not cost you wealth. Health brings wealth. But those are the people that are, they're overthinking it. They just right. aren't educated enough. Right. They think that every gym membership is going to cost them hundreds and hundreds of dollars a year. You know, they think that all supplements are out of control or the groceries can be out of control to eat healthy. But instead of eating maybe fresh, you eat frozen. Or you go to the farmer's market in the summer and you make a deal with the farmer and you stockpile and you freeze it yourself. It's just people, it's, it's convenience. Right. Convenience is expensive. Yeah. I, you know, I'm never going to let, I can't take it when people say they can't afford to be healthy, but every time you drive by a fast food or a Starbucks, <laughs> have you driven by a Starbucks lately? <laughs> I could not believe I'm how telling much that you, costs. you cannot go by Starbucks without waiting in line forever. The lines are wrapped around the building, no matter what time it is of the day. And Five dollars. Five dollars. Oh, at least. Five dollars. At for, least. For that coffee. Or you're eating out um, for lunch every day, and that's costing anywhere between seven and ten dollars at a minimum. Mm -hmm. If you're eating at Panera, you're spending, oh <laughs> you know, thirteen dollars. And we love all those places. Oh, yeah. We're not saying you can't eat out sometimes, but just sharing with you where you can actually Shave a little. Shave a little money. Do an inventory of where you spend your money so that then you can turn around and have that extra money to invest in your health. Say someone even stops and buys a Polar Pop every single day at the gas station. That could pay for their gym membership. Oh, yeah. And let me, you know, the in, you're either investing in this Polar Pop that you're putting in your body that has absolutely zero. Oh, don't zero. even get me started on that one. <laughs> the, the, there's no health benefits. In fact, it's hurting your health. So you're investing in something that's hurting your health, that's hurting your wealth. Because without good health, you won't have wealth. But we don't think period. about it when it's a dollar. It's just a dollar. Right. You know, but it's a dollar a day times seven days or times, you know, 30 yeah. days. So that's 30 bucks. That's Bam, there's one your dollar a day on a soda. Think about that. $30 a month. There is a membership mm -hmm. where you can go and be a, a member of a tribe, a community that's going to give you accountability and support. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's really amazing. It really is. So if you take that $1 every single day 
and just put it in a jar for 30 days and bam, there's your first month. And that's just one soda a day. One and soda. actually a soda costs more than a dollar. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A yeah. soda costs more than a dollar. Well, it can, it can, yeah. yeah. And Or if you're buying bottled water. Oh my gosh. Think about that. Yeah. I see so many, I mean, the plastic bottles are crazy. Mm -hmm. So if you're buying bottled water, that's more than a dollar a day. Mm -hmm. You know, the cheapest bottle of water you're going to get is 99 cents. Yeah. So think, think about that. You know, think about the prompt care visits that you go to if you're not taking good supplements, like a probiotic yeah, uh, help. that helps your immune system. For sure. Yeah. You know? I mean, I take my probiotics every single day. I take multiple things, but that's just me. That's just where I didn't always because I couldn't always afford it. So back when I couldn't afford it, I would literally, I would put down the kids for a nap at nap time when my kids were really little and I would do a little exercise video. I did what I was able to do at that time in my life. And I ate as healthy as I could. We might have bought canned vegetables because I couldn't afford fresh. So I would rinse the sodium off of them and I would eat canned vegetables. I did the best I could with what I had. Right. And I at least made that investment in some time and some thought to try and do better for myself. Yeah. Let's talk about time because that's obviously time and money, right? Those are the oh things gosh, that, yeah. and, and sometimes I think we hear, I don't have time more than we hear, I, I don't, don't have, have money. money. Mm -hmm. um, I think that people realize uh, that maybe they're spending money in places where they could save. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like they know if they sit down, they can think, I oh, know I buy that Coke every day or I swing through Starbucks or I do that. So they know that they can probably shave off 30 or 40 bucks a month yeah. for a gym membership. Um, but it, then, then you run into, I don't have the time. And, you know, I, I it's a good days. excuse for some people, but at the end of the day, you, you can't, it, it's not because you have to make the time. It's the most valuable thing you can invest your time in. Yeah. And there will be those days where you don't have the time, but you don't have the time seven days a week. Then you need to rethink how you're spending your time. Right. You know, like if you have little ones and you can't go to the gym because you don't have a babysitter, pop them in the wagon. I used to take all the babies that I used to watch. I had a triple stroller. I'd put them in there and we would go for walks. Right. Or I'd get out their little bikes and they would chase me around the cul-de-sac. I'm getting exercise. I'm getting up. I'm moving. When my babies were really little, I used to plank over the top of them and then do a push-up and bend down and give them a kiss. Right. Again, people overthink it so, so much. You know, last night I, I wanted to run. The weather was gorgeous, but I kept making every excuse in the book. <laughs> and I'm looking at outside and I'm like, oh, it's I so pretty. I never do that. <laughs> I'm like, but I have to do this. My son needed to go get his car because it was broke down. And I had a hair appointment and I had to make dinner. And it was just bam, bam, bam. Someone had a soccer game. But you know what? I went out and I did just 30 minutes really quick, ran around. Literally, while dinner was in the oven cooking, went out and did my run really quick and came back. Yeah. You make the time. You do. And here's why. Because the emotion follows the action. Oh, my yeah. favorite phrase, I say it all the time, you're never going to feel like it. You're going to be tired. So if you're, you know, I know you might be watching and you're thinking, you have no idea. I wake up at 4.30 or 5 in the morning. I have to be at work at <laughs> 6. I work all day. And then when I get off, I'm tired. Of course you're tired. Yeah. You worked all day. You are tired and you don't feel like exercising. But I promise you the emotion will follow the action. If you just make yourself do it when you're done, you will feel great. Yeah. And start somewhere. Like my husband the other day, he said, I'm going to the gym and I look at him and I'm like <laughs> looking at the clock and I'm like, it's nine o'clock. And he's like, yep. And I'm like, okay, yeah, awesome. And they didn't get home till about quarter after 10. They showered and they went to bed. You know, that was when he had the time that day. And, you know, he worked all day long. Then he went and coached a soccer game and then he came home and he still made time. Well, to go when and you start incorporating your exercise, you're going to have 
more energy. Yeah. And if you have more energy, you're going to do more things. This is so funny. So on, uh, let's see, was it Monday morning? On Monday morning, so Katie's starting, uh, she's finishing up volleyball and she's starting softball. Uh -huh. So softball season is coming and they had their, on Sunday, they had their first um, little softball practice at the Christian Center. And she's excited because she starts high school next year. So she wants to play on the high school softball team. And so uh, after practice, she told Joe, she goes, I want to go with you to the gym and the morning because I need to get stronger and so Joe was <laughs> like well uh at clubs at River City is where they have their membership and so he's like there's a body pump class that'll be perfect you know for you you to do it to give you your whole body workout and she was like okay I'm gonna do it so she did awesome at five o'clock in All the by morning herself. she got up she set her alarm she got up and she went with Joe to the gym worked out you know with Joe had did a good job, was all excited when she got home. But it was so funny when I picked her up from school um, on Monday afternoon, she just bopped in the car and she was singing. She goes, I don't know why, but I'm in the best mood today. <laughs> when you'd be and, like, I need a nap. You, you know, know, you think you would be tired. Yeah. And so, but no, those endorphins, she did something really good for herself and it put her in a good mood. So then on Monday night, she had softball practice. She went to, she had the energy to do softball practice. And then at about 8.35, she came down. She goes, I'm tired. I'm going to bed. <laughs> but you know, then you sleep good. That's how, oh, yeah. that is how it's supposed to be. You should work hard, like really hard. Like, but it's in this day and age, we don't really know what working hard is a lot of times. I think we got it so easy, so, so easy. Mm -hmm. If you just look at a little history, I think of my mom, and she's 74. You know, it's not very long ago that she was six years old picking cotton. Mm -hmm. Six years old picking cotton. Now, that you know, that's, that's a very relative short amount of time. If I tried to tell my kids to pick cotton... <laughs> I tried to tell my 11 year old to unload the dishwasher and you would have thought I like asked her to clean the entire house. Exactly. Oh, yeah. So what we tend to look at as hard work really just isn't. And we have to, we have to be real with ourselves and, 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 and be true with the reality uh, of the fact. And so we are designed to work hard, work hard mm -hmm. all day. So then you're tired. At night. Oh, yeah. And you're I not sitting there. Out. If you're tired, you will go to sleep. You will not sit there and spin and spin and spin and worry and think because you're too exhausted to do that. And then you sleep well. Oh, yeah. I literally get into bed. My husband goes into the bathroom. He comes back out. He's probably in there a minute to two minutes. And I am gone. Gone. I'm just passed out. I mean, I work hard all day. I work out almost every single day, you know, but investing in some way people just really just need to just sit back and it, on a car ride when wherever they have just a quick moment at their desk for just a minute and just sit and think do I have five minutes that I can invest in my day to just think about what I'm eating today yeah. do I have you know um, 30 minutes twice this week just to start even twice Put where it I on can your go calendar. and work out yeah. and do something, where I can go take the kids for a walk, look at the weather, oh, the, it's going to be great here. Or, or if you do have a gym membership that you've been paying for for four or five years and you haven't gone, <laughs> like, <Go to> it. <laughs> been there, <laughs> know all about that at one point in my life. But just pick two days this week. Just take that time, invest in your thoughts mm -hmm. and what you can do to make some stride just to invest in yourself in just a little bit. Yeah, you know, let's just add it up. I'm, I mean, let's just look at the reality of what it is, mm -hmm. okay? So let's assume that uh, the average membership is 39 bucks a month, okay? Mm -hmm. That's pretty average. There's going to be some if you have family memberships that are going to cost you more, but they have swimming pools, yeah. and you have a full family membership, and, um, and then there's going to be some, as we know, that are cheap, but then the middle of the road where you get good quality service, where you get the attention that you need, where there's going to be somebody there to take good care of you, mm -hmm. you can expect to pay somewhere around 39 bucks a month. Yeah. Okay. Now you and I both take Plexus and good quality supplements. Mm -hmm. And so, um, we spend how much a month? You know, I think my, if I get the multivitamin, mm -hmm. the bio cleanse, the probiotics, probiotics. Mm -hmm. 
Um, and your pink drink. And my Don't pink drink, no, and my pink drink is at what, $123 a month for it's, all of those? Yeah, it's about 100 and I think it's actually, yeah, about 120 with the multivitamin. Okay, so 120 for all the supplements that yeah. I need. Okay, so that's 120 so that's $159 a month, mm -hmm. right? And, I, you know, my running shoes, because I do run. Mm -hmm. uh, so investing in exercise gear and running gear, you don't have to do that every month. But, you know, a couple times a year, you got to get new stuff. So that would probably average maybe about $10 no, that'd be hundred twenty twenty dollars a month. Yeah, about twenty bucks a month, right? Yeah. So now, what were we at? One fifty nine, sixty nine, one hundred seventy nine dollars. Yeah. I need a calculator. <laughs> we're terrible. We're terrible at math. This might have not have been a good idea, <laughs> but it is because I want we 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 over like you said, Melissa. We over. Think it. Mm -hmm. We really do. We overthink it. What am I missing? You got your supplements. You got your gym membership. That's about it. You got equipment, the clothes you wear, the shoes that you need. Yeah. Um, I mean, your groceries, everyone's going to buy groceries. So you really can't you, even consider I that. I can teach you. Listen, if you think you're spending too much money on groceries to be healthy, come see me at Curves. Come see Melissa at oh, Curves. Yeah. I guarantee you, I guarantee you. You're overthinking it. Guarantee you. I can not only show you how you can shop and eat healthy, but I can show you how you can save money. I can save you money on your grocery bill eating healthy. Mm -hmm. So if you think that you can't eat healthy because of your grocery bill, come talk to Melissa. Yeah. She's your budget girl. Oh my gosh, like crazy. I mean, your budget girl. Yeah. So come talk to us because that just is absolutely not true. Uh, we can show you how to save money and what you can do in order to really reduce your grocery bill and still eat healthy. Mm -hmm. So your groceries are not going to cost you any more. In fact, we can save you money. Yeah. You, I think my lunch today maybe cost me about a dollar and a quarter <laughs> that I made. If I just that, went to the grocery store on Monday. On Monday, I usually go on Sunday, sun, or Saturday morning, sorry. Saturday morning is my grocery store day, but we had volleyball tournament this weekend, so I got pushed back, so I didn't go till Monday. Mm -hmm. My grocery store bill for four people in our family, and we all eat breakfast every morning at home. I make lunches for all of us. We eat lunch, you know, we're eating, I cook dinner yeah. almost every day, every day practically. $187 for yeah. the whole week. Mine runs between two and two fifty. There are definitely. But you have a teenage boy. I have three teenagers and, you have three and a teenage kids. boy. Yes. You have three kids. I have two at home. We have a lot more than that. But and we have two we're at in home. sports season, and so I mean, those and kids are have eating a, like eight times a day. Yeah, and you have a teenage boy who's an athlete in yeah. your home, so that that's like two people. Oh, yeah. At midnight, <laughs> he's making paninis in the right. kitchen, you know, because he's hungry again. <laughs> So that's like two people. So for the average, you know, $187 for the whole week. Um, and and I splurge. I mean, that's not, if I wanted to be even more on a budget, I could. Oh, there's definitely things I we mean, could cut out. I mean, I could definitely sure. have cut that down. I mean, that's just my budget. So that's what I was able to mm -hmm. spend. But I got things that we didn't have to have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could have done things a little bit differently. But that's what I spent. And that'll feed us for the whole week. That's dinner every day, breakfast every morning, lunch. So you grow, it will not cost you. If you think it's more expensive to eat healthy, it's not. I no. can show you how to save and money. And we probably eat out maybe once a week. Yeah. You know, just, just because one night I'm just like, I am not cooking. Yeah. You know, or but for then socialization, I go, it's fun. Oh, it is fun. But with three teenagers, again, we go out to eat. I'm 60 to 100 bucks for one meal. Oh, my gosh. One meal. One meal. And so I'm like, and we oh just, my gosh, that's like half a week's worth of groceries. You know, so. So you cannot, if you're going out for a family of four every week, do not say you can't afford to do something to take care of your health. No, we went to McDonald's even. We had a play date with some of the little ones that I used to watch. Yeah. 30 bucks so at McDonald's. 179 is the is is really the most you would spend on taking, investing in good health every month okay if you just look dollar for dollar now if you look at what the statisticians say they say if you invest 179 dollars in the long run you can multiply that times five mm -hmm. all right i don't have a calculator maybe you do <laughs> so 179 times five is what you can expect to invest down the road in savings of medical expenses all right yeah. and i can guarantee you i've already saved that this year because I, I didn't get, I'm so thankful that I didn't get sick, but somebody posted on Facebook. They were like, if you take Plexus and you haven't been sick, 
uh, this winter, yeah, say, give us a high me, five. Me. I'm like, <clears throat> if I get sick, I'm going to blame you for posting this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started to get but a cold. But I haven't even had that. I started to get a cold. It maybe lasted two days, and it was out the door. Like, it just wasn't even... It was just like, it was trying, but it couldn't settle into my You know my body, what I think you know? is that there are so many things to live in a healthy life that build your immune system. Let's, that when you invest that time. So first and foremost, obviously, if you're taking good supplements, you need to take good supplements. There's a really lot does. of good supplements out there, okay? There are. Investigate. Look into yeah, look it. Look into it. Don't just stand at the counter at the store. Do not your buy cheap store. supplements. Don't waste your money. You mm -hmm. need pharmaceutical grade supplements. Okay. You, you a cheap supplement, you won't even absorb most of all of it. So you need a good quality supplement. Yeah. But pick one that you like that you you know it's a good quality supplement. You need to take um, supplements. And I don't know where I was going with that, but you need to exercise. You need to take supplements. And you, oh, I know, I was saying that you eat, uh, you, I was saying that you invest uh, your money and you can expect a return on that. And what was I saying, Melissa? I wanted well, to spit just, it out. I mean, it, in general, like the cost of like healthcare, you were talking about like going to a prompt care and whatever. Our copay oh, to yeah. walk to the door of a prompt care is $75. That's with insurance. Yeah. I can't step into a prompt care for under 75 bucks. I was saying the combination <clears throat> of things keeps you healthy. Oh my gosh, for you sure. Know, you're, so you take good supplements, and that's a must. You need yeah. to exercise, and that's a must. But you know what I think the two biggest things that keep us the healthiest when it comes to living a healthy lifestyle is the way we feel, the endorphins that start pumping mm -hmm. whenever you're taking good care of yourself. And whenever you're exercising and investing in yourself, it makes, like, like Katie, you know, when she said, I don't know why, I'm just in the best mood today. When you take care mm -hmm. of yourself, when you invest in yourself, it puts you in the best mood. That is going to take stress off of you. That is going to make you feel good. It drives you to make better decisions throughout the whole day. And it's going to help you be healthier. Mm -hmm. And then sleep. Because you are taking good supplements, because you're exercising, because you're eating healthy, yeah. because you're working hard and you're doing, going that extra mile, you're going to sleep better and sleep and mood is everything. Oh my goodness. That was the point. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm we like, just what get, was I saying? We I get so excited so and we just get wrapped up. It. But yeah. that was the point. Sleep and mood um, is everything. Mm -hmm. when it comes to being healthy yeah. and so when you're when you're doing something good for yourself it just makes you feel good why do you think when someone takes they do the placebo effect right the oh yeah, yeah, yeah like yeah. here's a little sugar pill and you take this pill and everyone thinks they're taking some magical thing and they get well <clears throat> mm -hmm. I mean that's proof they do that all the time it's the placebo effect you get well because it's mind it's mind. It makes you feel good. You think you're doing something that's helping yourself. So your mind thinks you're doing something that's helping yourself. So it starts to work. Yeah. And you get well. It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. But it is. I mean, it is so time to invest in yourself. Just the littlest bit. Baby steps. Take it one day at a time, one step at a time. Like I said earlier, just look at something, you know, in your life. Like, where could I invest this? Where could I invest that? It, it could be money. If you've got it, do it. Supplements are huge. You know, a workout program with a um, facility that is going to just support you is huge. But if you don't have there, just start small. Right. Start, start somewhere. Small. Start small. Yeah. Start small. Start somewhere. And uh, <clears throat> just invest in yourself. Invest in your thoughts that you're worthy for this. Yes. Love yourself enough to take care of yourself. Love yourself enough to invest in your health. Your health is your wealth. You will never, you can't, you cannot be wealthy without your health. I don't even care if you have money because wealthy isn't just about money. Mm -hmm. It's a mindset too, right? Yeah. It is. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Melissa, thanks for being my guest thank today. You. Always a good time. And again, post some comments. Let us know you were watching. Help us share healthy you. Get the word out. We just want to help you live a healthy lifestyle. And thanks for tuning in. We'll be back next Wednesday. Bye. Bye. And so, yeah, that's what I was talking.
PeoriaLife.com.